Hello my friends out there, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials. Today I will show you my second Premiere tutorial in which I will combine the first tutorial with another old school movie technique. So uh, in the first tutorial we've learned to create this wonderful old school countdown. And in this tutorial we will take this countdown, we will take another footage and of course we will create an old full movie effect you see that old movie countdown with dust and scratches over here and then our movie is gonna be really old you see that really fantastic stuff of course really easy inside premiere we don't really want another plugin we don't really have to go into after effects we just need to have a video a video footage like this one i have right now and of course a really uh, helpful footage of dust and scratches so i will go to chrome you have to download this wonderful uh, video it is a free video copyright free video from vimeo.com i will uh, give you the link below in the details of the tutorial and if you see that it is really wonderful tutorial it is not full hd but it is hd so it's not problem for us Anyway, we have to create, you know, old school feeling. We don't really have to have uh, high definition dust and scratches anyway. So I have uh, already downloaded this. And of course, you are free again to download that for your own purposes. So I go back to the Premiere and I will uh, close the sequence. And of course, I will just use this uh, counter, this leader over here. And afterwards, I will put my video. If you don't know how to do this, just watch my previous tutorial in Premiere and of course subscribe for more. Uh, so I go there and actually I will find the girl, which is this girl, you see how fresh and how new this video actually looks. Okay, I will take this one, I will put it here. Okay, and of course we have the girl over here, which is wonderful. Super. So the girl right now runs inside this field. The first thing that we have to do, it's not putting the dust and scratches, but to edit the video in order to be able and to be ready to take over the dust and scratches. So first of all, we have to uh, put some effects over this video and make it more uh, suitable for black and white and old school. So I will go to the effects panel inside Premiere and I will click here and I will uh, put some plugins, some actually effects, sorry, uh, over my video. The first one, it will be the tint. Of course, the tint, if you don't know what it really does, it actually makes the movie two colors. It starts with black and white. And then if you go to the effect controls and you see the tint over here, you can actually change the one of the two or also the two colors if you like. So we can actually change this uh, black to something really really dramatic let's say dark green and make actually uh, well actually not like that but here we will change the white to the dark green and we will create uh, you know a night vision goggle site you see that really easy really funny and of course uh, this time we will create uh, the black and actually the dark brown and white effect with the help of the tint for our video so i will uh, go here i will change this to let's say a little gray f4 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 hit ok and of course instead of pure black i will go to brown to dark brown you see that so 1a 15 and 10 1a 15 and 10 i think it will be okay you see that maybe more who knows you see that 2d 1f 12 2d 1f 12 you see that really really good looking right now you see pure quality black and white old school black and white but uh, we're not ready yet if you see some old movies and i mean by old silent movies you will realize that the speed it's much more is much more faster than the real than the today's actually video speed so well actually that happens because uh, in this uh, area in this era sorry uh, they used to uh, record the video with different kind with uh, with less fps so this time we will actually speed up the process ourselves with our new video in order to make them look old 
like the uh, old ones used to be. So I will select my video. Actually, I will go to the project panel. I will select here my video and I will go and right click. And of course, afterwards, I will go and OK and modify and interpret footage. And here I will uh, click this one. You see that? And I can I can actually right now change the duration. Actually, I will change the FPS, okay, the rate, the frame rate, to from to 29.97 to 32.50, and that way I will make my video much more fast than it used to be. So now it goes really fast. You see that? Well, if you want, you can go really crazy with that. Let's change this to 40 or something, and you will see something really really fast wait and there we are you see that really fast if you like you can make it that fast or if you like it you can make it really really slower so let's say 15 fps check this out slow motion you see that really pure slow motion without hustle and without actually a really effort so uh, actually i will go to 3250 uh, i think it is a very good number for my movie superbly and hit okay great and now my movie actually runs a little more fast than it used to go so it is faster right now my team is okay next uh, weapon in my project has to be the brightness and contrast so i'll go and type bright actually sorry i have to go to the effects panel and type here brightness brightness and contrast so there we are i will put it on my video and of course i will try to make my video more bright and more contrasty so uh, it could fit the look of the old times so i will uh, increase the brightness at about 10 and the contrast at about 20 let's say and you see right away we have a really contrasty video right now check this out before uh, without the brightness contrast you see that wonderful effect so tint brightness contrast do the job for me and of course we have to use uh, some extra also the next effect has to be the offset offset this is here i will drag and drop it on my video of course the offset uh, the main effect of the offset is uh, to uh, push actually the real video left or right up or down and of course repeat the same video in the edge of the original check this out you see that wonderful effect of course i i will use this effect but i will lower i will actually uh, blend with the original so i will lower the effect at about 80 percent and you see that actually i have a frame blend and it looks much more natural right now it looks old it looks bad it looks low quality and of course uh, it goes straight to the goal that I ha that I have in my mind and of course to the goal that I want to create a black and white old school video and uh, later we will use also the dust and scratches so we'll go and I will type dust and scratches wonderful and of course here I will uh, increase that at about five you see that already that we have succeed to create uh, a really you know blurry video but artistic blurry and of course i don't really want that i just want to have a, a low quality actually not so sharp to be precise video so let's go and increase the threshold at about uh, one so there we are we have dust but not so strong it looks wonderful maybe uh, at about 0.8 uh, or something or 0.5 let's say great and the dust and scratches you know build up a good quality old school video of uh, another era maybe 20s or 10s or 30s let's say and of course uh, last but not least is the um, last effect which is the lighting the lightning uh, effects there we are i will put this here and of course this kind of effect it will actually uh, burn the main frame of the video and uh, it will actually make it look more 3d and more damaged than it used to be so right now i will select only this light the first light and of course the spotlight and i will actually 
try to change all those settings in order to make it look uh, much more good for me of course i can make this more strong or more soft you see that maybe something like that and of course the intensity it's gonna burn all the things or actually it will uh, be not so strong wonderful of course we can uh, increase the radius okay of course we can move this effect up and down left or right you see that and of course then increase the major and minor you see that and we're going somewhere i think here it's going to be okay for us and right away you have a video footage that it is more bright here more dark over here and actually overall it looks much more better than before check that without the lighting effects you see that a different atmosphere you see that different game my friends wonderful and we're done the next step of course has to be the introduction and of course and of course the use of uh, our this footage you know okay so i will put this over here of course this footage it's really big for us so uh, i will actually cut the front and i will put this afterwards maybe more i want to have a space with a lot of dust and scratches inside my footage you see that okay i think we are okay here and of course i want to expand this uh, scratches video over my countdown it will look much more realistic that way and of course i have to increase the scale i will select the video i will go to effect controls and of course i will go to the motion uh, panel or tab let's say and i will actually increase the scale to 150 and we're done and last but not least we have to reveal the countdown and the girl underneath because right now the video the scratches it is white with black things over here and it doesn't really work we have to see through the white so we will go to the opacity of course in the scratches video and of course we will change the blend mode to let's say uh, darken or multiply and that way you see that we have scratches dust over our countdown see how fresh and good it was looking before not appropriate for us but now it uh, looks really really good great and of course i can actually use some effects uh, over uh, you know let's say the lighting effects over my countdown so i will copy this one Control c command c in macintosh i will select my universal Control v you see that so actually it looks much more better right now wonderful effects wonderful effect i'm really excited with that uh, i'm really excited actually not exciting uh, we're okay and i think this is it so we are ready and i hope that you liked this tutorial and i hope that uh, this tutorial and the first tutorial uh, made you uh, able to create a really wonderful video footage of course if you like my work please like it and please subscribe if you want more from me uh, i have to say i'm sorry if i was really bad with my english but you know i used to speak greek and german so that's it my friend if you don't really like it i'm so sorry so see you soon my friends i will be back